Morning, folks. I'm bundled up pretty good today. I've got my extra warm down vest on. It is quite cool out, folks. So the sun is the sun is all wrong, folks. But it's it's early and cold and but I've got something on my mind. Where's the fight? Where's the fight in this country, folks? For the love of America. Where's your fight for its own for its own people? Where's its fight for freedom? Where's its fight? With all this going on. Where's your fight? Where are you standing? Or are you even standing? Maybe you're sitting down and just watching it all unfold. Or maybe you're standing. Maybe you're standing by either posting videos, whether it be on YouTube, whether it be on TikTok, or where's your fight? Some of us are fighting. Most of us, I'm assuming on this channel, are fighting in their own way, right? Now, fighting doesn't mean picking up arms, marching in the streets. It doesn't mean all of that. Fight, at least how some of us feel, Fight is seeing what is coming, not liking what is coming, and doing something about it on our end, right? Whether it's stocking up, whether it's securing your place, whether it's planning, right down to learning skills, right? At the bare minimum, at the bare minimum, we should be learning skills. Now, someone asked me the other day, well, a couple of months ago, what skills are you talking about? What do you mean when you, when you say skills? Well, it could come down to just basic survival skills. Do you know how to start a fire? Do you know what... What material is needed to start a fire? Do you have the means to start a fire? Do you know how to filter water? Do you know how to protect yourself? Do you know how to forage for food? Do you know just basic life skills? Remember, there are some people that don't think you can stay clean unless you take a literal shower, right? water gets you clean. The shower stall does not get you clean. It's the water. And if you have and ha if you have the knowledge and the skill to go out and get water, whether it be from a bog or a river or a stream or a lake, melting snow, collecting rainwater, if you have the skill, the know-how to collect water, to sanitize that water, then you can stay clean. Right? A little bit of soap. Maybe heat the water up. Maybe maybe the, the fire learning skills and the water collecting skills combined with a little bit of soap and a little bit of want to can keep you clean. Clean means that you are healthy. Now, there's germs, folks, germs. It's good to have a little bit. It's good to have that, that tolerance for a good, healthy immune system, folks. You can't, you can't go down to the, the bog down here and chop a hole through the ice and take a, a tin cup and, and take a sip. There's beaver in that water, folks. It's nasty. It's a bog. It's a peat moss bog. So do you have the bare minimum 
four skills. Do you know how to, if you, for some reason, and I know this is a far stretch, but let's say you have been run, for, the whole world has gone crazy and you have been pushed from your home and you had to go out into the, into the woods and build a simple, simple structure. Do you know how to do that? Do you know which way the, the prevailing wind is? Do you know how to put boughs down on the bottom and put, once you get your basic structure to put boughs on top, how thick, how many, which direction do the, bow, the boughs point, right? Basic, basic skills at the bare minimum, folks, you should learn how to start a fire, how to collect, filter, sterilize water. What is, what is edible? What is edible? You can make teas out of a lot of things. Here's a spruce, spruce sprills, right? You can make a tea out of that. It's really good for you. Really, really good for you. If you don't, if you, if you don't know, Type up spruce needle tea. Research it. Read on it. Pine needle tea. There's all kinds of things. All kinds of, of twigs and flowers and bark that you can you can make tea out of that is very, very good for you. It's something. Right? It's something. But in order to, to make tea, you need to have sterilized water. Right, you need to know how to collect that water. You need to how to start. A, need to know how to start a fire to heat that water up. See, you see how that goes. Learning one skill isn't enough. Just the art of of making a cup of tea takes several skills. Right, basic skills in the bare minimum know your skills or at least have the material on hand where you can sit on a stormy day and read over those skills and then when it clears up and you have a free time practice those skills right so where is our fight just because we're not angry doesn't mean we don't have fight in us some of us have honed it in Owned it, and we can't we can't control what is happening out there, folks. It's going to happen whether we speak up or not, right? Best thing to do. You can't control that. Well, what do I have control over? I have control over learning skills. I have control over instead of buying a two-liter bottle of soda or whatever it is, liter bottle bottle of soda. Let's just say it's two dollars. I don't know, folks. That might buy a can of vegetables to put up on your shelf, shelf to put away, right? The fight comes down to each and every one of us in our own little bubble. If we can't control any anything outside that bubble, <clears throat> we surely can control what's in our bubble, how we think how we process, what we process, when we process, right? We have pretty good control over our mind. We have pretty good control over our bubble. And we know every aspect of our bubble to the best, to the best of our ability. You know, things happen like the other Friday night, right? Right? You never know when people are going to come in and go looking around your place. Maybe try to get in your place. Maybe try to steal a bird, steal gas, take a tire right off your vehicle. A big one here is catalytic converters. They like stealing them around here. They do. Practice your skills, learn those skills, and then practice those skills. Some of you might be saying, oh my goodness, here we go. We're, 
the apocalypse has already happened and and you're in survival mode and no it's not that folks that could that happen maybe possible anything is possible what is it hurting instead of sitting down watching your favorite program oh, instead of sitting down watching the news for a half hour an hour why don't you forget that bull crap and take that hour half hour and learn some skills or at least collect the skills to have on hand in case you do need it right now I'm not saying I'm not saying hard times are coming I do think they are coming everything has sped up my goodness folks things have sped up some say 2024 is the year that all hell breaks loose I don't know it could be today it could be today and then you've got the media and all these distractions and all these psychological it's psychological folks is what they're doing to us they're keeping us in a heightened state this is happening this is happening and they're exaggerating it or they're not telling the whole truth and they're telling partial truth just to keep people on edge they are they are it's like little girls on a playground that like the drama right they feel better when they've got everybody all worked up around them it gives them their their fix right I don't get it and it's not little girls sometimes little girls either it's it's sometimes little boys that like that drama it's sometimes a lot of times adults who know better like that drama I have backed away from I backed away from the news like 20 years ago and I am not kidding folks and I went to alternative alternative media learned a lot a lot of it is no better than the news mainstream media a lot of it but if you get to a channel that you like that that is clear-headed and rational and and what they what they in and, and uh, the predictions folks the predictions oh my goodness folks the predictions I am a time travel I'm not saying there's no such thing as time travel I have never time traveled folks I have no idea it's one of those things where uh, all right let's just hear what they have to say and they say specific dates specific dates February I don't know what the date was 17 March something August something these are going to happen they've said that for a long time given dates have they ever ever come true once that date gets there has it happened these people are seeking attention or they got a little little something going on up here that isn't quite right right in one of my one of my jobs years ago there was a young man that thought he was Jesus Christ he legally changed his name to Jesus I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that I'm just saying that I know for a fact that he had he had a little delusional something going on upstairs a lot of mental health problems yet young man grandiose right probably a little little bipolar in there untreated unmanaged all I'm saying is be careful what you watch or you can watch it be careful how gullible you are learn those skills folks even if there's a one percent chance you will ever need those skills at least you will know how to perform that skill one percent chance because it could possibly happen 
So what are you doing to fight? Learning skills is a really good start, folks. Learning skills, stocking up one can at a time because things are speeding up. The media has increased it. I'm just going to say psychological warfare, and it's not just the media. They're just, they're just being told what to report, right? The powers that be out there that are running this country, running this country right into the ground, they want you up here. They want you on screech mode. They want you scared. You're not going to be very scared, folks, if you are prepared. That's all I'm saying. Prepare. Prepare. Fortify that little bubble that you're in. Make it a safe bubble. Making sure that bubble is one where you can you can access and treat and drink the water to to hydrate yourself, to cook, to bathe. And that's just that's just water, folks. Right? That's just a lot of skills in just collecting water so it's safe. A lot of skills to learn, folks. I hope you're learning them. I hope you at least have the material on hand so you can say, well, this is what we need. Let's read up on how to do that. It's like riding a bike. You struggle at first, right? And then years later, you get on a bike and it, it's like a natural thing. Just like starting a fire, folks. It's just like chopping a hole through the ice to collect water filtering it, sterilizing it. The more you do it, the more smoother it becomes, the faster it becomes, and the less of a chore it becomes, right? It'll become second nature. That's why it's important to practice skills. On my other channel, I've said many, many, many times, you need to learn your skills. I truly believe that, folks. You need skills. all I've got to say right now is too cold to say anything more. So y'all be good. Bye-bye.